What's going on guys, Austin Nurture here, and today we have the new DC Multiverse, so it's the new figures, new box design, new, I assume probably the figures have maybe changed a little bit too, but they've rebranded or whatever all the DC Multiverse, and I really like the look of the boxes, the design of them. Down here, it's kind of hard to see if I guess I pull up, you can see they have an intention here in the front just to add more detail to the boxes, and I really like this, and I like the look and box design of this. So this time we have, I guess I don't know what you call the wave, because there's not really any, you know, semblance of connection between all these but this is um the set that has the collection connect so it's like um uh marvel legends uh build a figure but it's collect and connect and this is Clayface. so as you'll see you can see like parts here you know of Clayface inside there so with this set we have a superman so i assume most of these are comic book versions except for one that i'll show here in a second i don't know if there's anything special about like the superman if he's from a certain thing i don't know for sure i just know it's a superman as you can see but we have a superman then over here we have a jessica cruz green lantern so she's one of the new and current green lanterns then we have batwoman over here of course from the batman universe and then our other two figures here we have a two-face which i really like and again you can really see the clay face parts with him but we have two-face and then from super Girl, so the TV show Supergirl, we have a Martian Manhunter here. So it's more a realistic version or, you know, how he looks in the TV show. Um, so that's kind of interesting that they threw that in there from Supergirl, and you can see the Supergirl logo from there. So we'll go ahead and um, open each one of these, look at each figure, and then of course at the very end we'll put Clayface together. I'm super excited that because I love Batman villains, and Clayface is an awesome one. So I'm super excited to see how he looks at the very end, so let's go ahead and get into him. So first up here we have Superman from the set. So this is the current Superman. What I remember DC Rebirth maybe is what they're calling um, the newest set of DC of uh, DC Comics and stuff. I can't remember if it's that, um, but this is the newest version, the most current version of Superman that there is. So I'll take a close up look here. So there you can see he's got the classic Superman looking face and outfit, uh, pretty much outfit going on here. So he's got of course the normal uh, or the classic face with the blue eyes and of course the black hair with the like curly Q there coming down on his face. I'm surprised they still have that added on there, but I guess. It's just a, you know to help signify and identify that this is Superman, even though you may have you know not have issues doing that. Then we go into his blue officer outfit so he's wearing an all blue outfit as you can see it's just completely all blue then we do have the superman logo there on his chest so of course the s and the diamond there um then going into his arms just all blue until you get right here by his wrist they do have some like metal uh silver and black going on in there of some probably like some sealed stuff just add some more design into his costume then we go down here into his belt where he's got a red belt so instead of the red trunks on like the classic superman he now has a red belt and of course has a red diamond logo or diamond there in the center with the um, rest of the belt going around it and then it's just all blue until you get down to his legs where his shoes are and then you have a red rim around the top of his boots and then they're just all blue there then we go to his back where he's got his red superman cape with the um, yellow superman logo of course there on the back again to identify more of superman um, now I will say, um, so that's pretty much all there is to this figure, he doesn't have much more detail than that, but I will say with these new DC figures, they have some stuff they have to work on, and most of it is paint and design. So for this Superman, there's nothing really major, but right here in between his chest, um, the paint's not the best, I don't even know if you can even see it in there, but the paint's not the best, and it looks like they messed up some parts, there's not much go um, wrong with him. Um, it's more on other figures, but that is just one issue that I found like the paint job is not the best and design um, But that's just something they'll have to work on as they continue on if they have redesigned anything from these figures um, So with Superman, of course, um, he is you know, just a figure so we do have articulation So he's got the head movement so you can move his head, you know side to side and up and down so you can adjust it wherever you want um i do like though with his cape compared to the marvel legend figures his cape is attached onto him um or at least i assume it's attached looks like there's glue and stuff um so i do like that then going into shoulders so he does have the butterfly like shoulder movements there um he has the upper like bicep you can like spin it around and you know help pose it wherever you need to an elbow joint which unlike the marvel legends just has one elbow not double elbows and stuff um, just single elbow, and then of course the wrist you can spin around whichever way you want to. I'll stick that down so you have that. Then we do have some like ab crunchers there, so you can pose it either way you need to there. 
Um, hip joints, the same as all, you know, all figures. You can move the hip around as much as you need to. Upper thigh can twist there. Then we do have a double knee joint, which on these figures are much more easier, unless this one's just loose. But it's a lot easier to do in band compared to the Marvel Legends. Usually they're real stiff and you have to really work on to get both um, parts of the knee to bend. Um, then we have a foot here where it does um, go back and forth. And then not really side to side. You have just a little tiny movement probably just of the plastic weakness and stuff. But it doesn't do it like the Marvel Legends where you can completely twist the foot up the side and stuff. So it's pretty much just a back and forth like that. Um, so they do stand pretty easy. Like it's not very hard to get. Of course this one I'm not going to have it since I've readjusted and played with the legs and stuff. They're pretty easy to get the stand compared to Marvel Legends. Um, but that's it for the figure. He does come with some extra stuff, so he does have some hands. They were, of course, all bent up from being in the packaging and stuff, but some flat hands. So I assume you can just replace Mon and then, you know, just put his hands out like this, like he's flying, you know, with the flat hands, like, like that. Um, so you, I assume that's what that is for, because I don't know what else he would need flat hands for. And this figure does, of course, come with a clay face piece, because this is clay face build figure. And we have the right arm of clay face. So look how big this arm is. It's, you know, the pretty much the same height as the Superman figure. So this clay face looks like it's going to be pretty big overall, which I think is going to be super cool. Um, but just from the Superman box, it says, The Man of Steel must balance protecting the new world while raising his son, John Kent. So that must be a new son or something. They've thrown into the comic books that, of course, I don't read the comics anymore. I quit a year or two ago, so I don't know that much about it. But that's going to be it for Superman. And next up here we have Batwoman. So this is a character when I did read the comics, I was reading all the Batman characters. And she was the first comic I had to give up on just because her story wasn't that good and I couldn't enjoy the character that well. But I do like her um, design, like her outfit and everything. I really like that. Um, so, of course, we'll bring her up here. So this is, um, you know, Batwoman. So she has this red hair, which is kind of weird. We'll look at something here in a second. So she has the long red hair. Could be built into her mask. I'm not exactly sure, but I think she normally, you know, did have the long red hair. Then we go into her Bat mask here, which, of course, looks um, pretty similar to Batman's. Um, um, of course, it does have a lar much larger opening around the face and chin there. But we do have the Batman ears going into the, you know, the pointy nose, the br um, brow, which it's kind of hard to see, you know, make it look more angry with the wide eyes that they add into it. Then it's got some design there going onto her cheek. And then we go to her actual face. So you can see she's kind of a really pale woman and she has red lipstick on there. Going into her, her outfit, she's got an all black outfit with red details. So she has the red would be like a you know take on a batman logo there um red uh, gauntlets and arms so she has you know the red spikes like batman does going into her utility belt which is all red as well and it's like a soft rubber so it's like you know it feels different and it's like you know bendy and stuff and then going into her red shoes um then we have her cape and um, she does have some two fasteners on here some silver fasteners to hold her cape on uh you know um, character wise not really in the toy because it's attached in the back there if you can see that um so it's a black cape on one side and red cape on the other i like that you know contrast of the black and red going in there together um so there's not much more to that um some detail again that i was saying i messed up um, I forget on her, so on her, so her belt, you can tell, has been glued on because there's a lot of white residue from the glue. You may not be able to see in the camera, but there's like white stuff in between there, or right above the um, belt there. Um, then on her arms, which I don't know if you can see this, there's like big indentions going into her arms. Um, like there have been gashes put into it on both this side's even worse with a much larger one. So I don't know what went on there, what would cause that, um, if they had issues putting her arms in and they used the tool and it, you know, scraped along her chest there. Um, but yeah, they kind of damaged that figure, and so it's not, um, looking too good there. Um, but since this is a woman, they do have a little bit of different parts. So of course, we have the normal head moving. So her head's really loose, like it moves a lot. Um, but we have her head there. Then she has the butterfly elbow joints. Then she does not have the upper arm or the bicep, um, but she does have an elbow that can, like, twist around. I didn't pay attention if Superman's could do that. I don't think so. But it can, like, twist around and everything, her elbow joint. Um, then we have her wrist, that, of course, that can twist. Um, no, at, well, I guess she does right under her chest have some. It's like the old G.I. Joe toys, but it's kind of loose. So that may be an issue. Um, then we have her hip joints. Again, she's, like, real loose overall, so she can move a lot. Upper thigh can twist there. Then we've got the double knee again. Um, the, of course, the, there you go. So both can bend there pretty easily. And then, of course, the foot that can move um, up and down as well. And then just not much side to side at all. Um, so that's pretty much it for the Batwoman figure. So then she does come with a head so you can take her mask off. 
or have it so her mask is off and here's her normal face. And so this is, I believe, Kate Kane is her name. If I remember right, that was Batwoman. But as you see, she has the short hair here, so that's why I didn't know if her hair was a part of the mask. And that, but you can see she is a pale skin and it has the red lipstick and you can see her eyes and everything there with the short red hair. So you can switch those out if you would rather have that there. And then, of course, for clay face, we do have some parts that are cool. So we have the torso, I believe is what you call this, um, like the thighs area. <laughs> so we have that to connect, and so that, you know, has the leg joints there that connect. So that, and then it also comes with the head. So I like this head. It looks kind of like a, the Rancor from Star Wars a little bit, um, but I like the head. It's a big, giant head, and so you can open its mouth and see the teeth and everything and the yellow eyes. I just really like that a lot, so that's cool. And from her box, it says, Batwoman must return to the darkest place of her past to prevent the spread of the new bioweapon Monster Venom. So there's a little information on Batwoman, and so that's going to be it for her. And next up here we have Jessica Cruz as Green Lantern. So she's one of the new Green Lantern characters, like one of the newer characters added into the um, whole Green Lantern core. And so um, I really like the design of this character. She goes along, I believe, with uh, Simon Baez, or I don't know exactly how you say his last name, um, but where they've added, you know, a, a character that's not white into the Green Lanterns, you know, to add more ethnicity into it, which I think is really cool that they've done that. And I think she looks awesome. So I'll pull up here to her face. And so you can see her head, so she's got long black hair that I think looks really nice. They did a lot of nice detail into it. But then we have her face there, and as you see, she has the Green Lantern logo right on her eye. I think that's a cool detail that they threw in there. I like that a lot. Um, so she has nothing, you know, much else. She has some sort of lipstick on it, looks like. I can't tell what color. It looks like a dark red or something. Um, then going into her outfit, she's got, like, you know, kind of like a normal Green Lantern outfit. Um, going on here on their chest, she does have what would be, like, the Green Lantern logo, but it's just the circle part with the light on it instead of, you know, the top and bottom parts like her eye has up here you know the parts of the lantern um, then she's got uh, so the green going into the black so she's mostly a black outfit here but then the green up in her upper torso and then going into her arm she has the white gloves on with the green lining on the um, edges of them and then going down into her legs, she's just, you know, it's all black. And then going into her white boots there. So she's not got much detail going into her. She doesn't have any cape or anything. You can see more of the detail there on her back that they put with the green. But I like the way her costume is designed. I always like the Green Lanterns. They're simple, but they I like their detail put, they put into and stuff. Um, so she is a, a female character. So she's designed exactly like Batwoman was. So we've just went through all her different uh, movements. She doesn't have anything new or different to add into that. Um, so there's nothing much more to go into detail with, but I really like the, like I said, I really just like the look overall of this character. Um, but for some stuff she comes with, she does come with a Green Lantern. So here's her Green Lantern, so of course you can probably just take it and stick it into her hand so she can hold it like that. Um, then she does come with a lot of these green, like, tendril things that you can attach onto her. I don't know exactly where they go. I tried to look at the pic um, pictures on the box, but it doesn't show anything. But I assume you just, you know, like, twist them on here and so it's like you know she's got power coming off of her the green lantern power oh and then the ring i forgot about the ring so she does have the ring there on her hand as well to you know she is a green lantern has the green lantern ring um then for clay face parts we got both of his legs so we got two short stubby legs here but of course they attach to the part we saw last time so you know he's, he's going to be taller but he does have some short and stubby legs and i like the movements they do it but we'll look at that later and from her box says, Jessica Cruz, the newest Green Lantern, must overcome the ring's influence in her fears to rise as the hero she is meant to be. And so that's kind of cool that they threw that in there. So that's going to be it for Jessica Cruz. And next up here we have Two-Face. So this is, of course, a Two-Face of one of my favorite characters because he's a Batman villain. So I like Two-Face a lot. Um, so this is just a classic Two-Face. It says it's from All-Star Batman is what this version is from. Because I think the last time I saw him, he was either wearing a white suit or um, a greenish color. I can't remember. There's been so many versions of Two-Face. It's hard to tell um, what he's supposed to be wearing. Um, but here, we'll pull him up close so you can see his face here. So he's got, you know, the half-burnt face on this side and his normal face. So Harvey Dent on this side. Um, so I like, look at all that, like, veining and stuff they put into his face for the burnt side. And of course, he's got the messed up eye. You can see the teeth because part of his cheek is missing you know he's got burnt ear and everything there then on the harvey dent side we just have you know the normal face and normal hair he looks just like a per you know normal classic guy he does have some weird spots so i don't know if this is a paint mess up because up here it's got like the reddish color mixed into it by his eyebrow so i feel you know it's so oh, maybe some stuff that passed over but then down here it's just pure paint spots there on his cheek so again another stuff parts that they messed up on paints um that just does not look good and i forgot to say on the um 
uh, Jessica Cruz, like on her foot, it had black paint on the back of the foot that um, I forgot to show. Um, but so then we're going into his body. So then he's just got the normal suit on. Um, so he's in like, you know, a dress suit. So he's got a tie here. So like a red tie. And I like how it's a piece of plastic. So it does move around and stuff. Then he's got like a magenta color. I'd say it's like a reddish pink uh, color jacket going on here that I think looks cool. And then he's just all black underneath. So probably a black button up shirt and then going into black pants there down to his shiny black shoes. So of course the pants and stuff are like a flat color, but the shoes are so bright. I don't know if you can see that in the camera very well, but they're just so bright and shiny. They really shine those up and so um there's a look just at the back of him nothing else to go along with him there um but from his box he does come with some stuff so he does have two guns so you can put them in his hands here so he's got two guns because he's you know two face he uses a lot of guns and then he has this that i thought was something different but now i've realized what it was so he comes with these hands um you know it's the same hand here the uh, left hand that you can put on i thought they were metal because like some old figures, they'd have metal, and so then you could take the weapon and just stick it in. So it's an easier way to hold it. But I kept trying, and I was like, why is it not sticking? And then I realized they're just plastic. And then I looked at it closer and realized, oh, they're his coins. So you can have his hand. So he's got, um, I forget which side's which, because um, it's, you know, a double-sided coin. But he has the side that's all scratched up. So that's, you know, what would be one of the sides. I don't know if it's the heads or tails. And then just the plain normal side there. So that's the difference, as you can see, the different coins where the one has, this one has all the scratches and stuff in it and this one doesn't so that's what that is i thought like i said thought it was a like a magnet or something to help hold the guns but you can switch either of those hands if you want them to hold the coin as well and the gun in the other hand maybe um so then for clay face we have its upper body so like its chest area so that's where the head goes it's kind of like sits forward instead of on the top um, but then it does have the back piece so i assume they have it so you can help you put the arms on here um you know like you can uh, help put the arms on then once you get the arms on you then take this and push it into the back and close it up to help seal the arms in and everything to make it a lot easier because you know in marvel legends sometimes the arms are super hard to get on but we've got that for Clayface, and just from Two-Face's box, it says, With Harvey Dent and Two-Face plotting against each other, the question of who will triumph is still at large. So there must be something going on where two, Harvey Dent's you know, facing off with Two-Face trying to like take control of the body. So that's going to be it for Two-Face. And our last character here is Martian Manhunter. And again, this is from the Supergirl TV show. So if you've seen that TV show, that's what this is from. So that's why he looks more realistic and less comic book or cartoonish version. It's from the Supergirl. Um, so this is, you know, a different take on Martian Manhunter with a different look. But it's kind of got the classic details and design. So there he, he is an alien, of course. And so he does have um, the green skin and stuff. And he's got a weird shaped head here. Where in like most comic versions, at least that I've seen in the know from the old like cartoon tv shows and stuff he just had a normal shaped head um but this time they added this point onto the back i guess to make it you know clear he is an alien there and then in his face he's got what looks like a uh, orangish color eyes there it's kind of hard to see yellow orange color eyes there then going into his outfit so he does have the cross on him of the red like straps of like the classic uh martian manhunter outfit does but then he's um all solid on his outfit here um on, like on his arms here he's got the blue detail going into his armor um then up here we where the cape like it is supposed to attach it's got this um gold uh latches on here i forget what they even call those clasps or something to help hold on the cape which is cape is a little bit different this is you know more loose and free and it just attaches into the back here so you can easily just pull it right out of this slot here if you didn't want the cape on but it does hold it pretty well still even just doing that um so then he's got his all black as i said which it has some detail going into you can kind of see in the light there it's got some detail going into it uh then going into his belt with some gold on the belt there and then the pants he's got like leather type pants going into shoes there as you can see with the details on the shoes there as well um so then as i mentioned earlier he has a cape but it's just a solid black cape nothing special about it at all um but that's pretty much it for him and he's got of course all the normal body movements as the guys do he does come with some extra parts so he does have two hands here so he's got two hands for gripping i don't know what he's supposed to be gripping because he doesn't come with any guns or anything but he just has open hands instead of just the fist that this hands uh or the character or figure comes with the two hands then he does come with this weird creature thing. I don't know what's supposed to be. I've not seen the TV show. I've seen, you know, parts of it. And so I've seen, you know, him, Martian Manhunter, on the show. But I've never seen this. My guess is that you probably just take it and, like, stick it on his chest. It's supposed to be, you know, some sort of, like, parasite sucking onto him. But beyond that, I don't know what this is. And there's nothing on the box saying what it is or anything. So I'm not sure exactly what it's supposed to be or do. 
And then of course for Clayface, we get our last piece here, which is his left arm. You know, again, a giant left arm as big as the figure here. So that's really cool. So we've got all Clayface that we'll build next. And so that's going to be it for March Manhunter. And so from his box, it says, Shapeshifter John John's Martian Manhunter. The last son of Mars is bound to his promise to protect Alex Danvers. And so there's a little bit of information related to the TV show Supergirl. And that's going to be it for Martian Manhunter. So we now have all the clay face here, just a big mud pile. So let's go ahead and mold them all together. Okay, so here we got Clayface put all together now, and this thing is huge and it's awesome. I had to extend the camera out a little bit to try and fit this all in here. So here we have Clayface. So of course we'll start with his feet and move up. So on his feet he does have, you know, some articulation. It does move, you know, side to side, up and down. So he's got good articulation here. Then on his knees he does have, you know, knee joints there. Um, so it can, you know, spin around, move up and down. Then he's got upper thighs, you know, that can twist around as well. Then we've got the hip joints. So again, that can like kick and everything. Just like, ah, I'll kick you. Um, then going into his waist, so he does have waist so it can spin. Um, then he's got, does have some sort of like ab crunch going on there as well. Um, then that's pretty much it for the body. So going into the arms, so we do have the shoulder joints, which are kind of a little like stiff, but they do move pretty easily as well then we've got the elbow joints there so he can swing and then of course twist his hands and then of course this head that can spin around so you can like put a face upside down if you want to like ah. um, but i like that and then of course he does have the jaw articulation here so it's like he can open and eat stuff and again he has two sets of teeth like the fronts here and then further and he's got more teeth and i like this and so this is probably one of the easiest build a figure characters i've ever had put together um so that's really cool it just you know everything just went poop like right and popped right into each other and had no issues at all and i like that a lot um but just for some size reference so i'll put clayface over here and so I'll bring in superman so there you can see the size difference between the characters and i think that is super cool that they made him this big and large he's humongous like even look he's just like you know two almost three times the size maybe as Superman so that is awesome so that's cool so that's it for Clayface and this whole new set of DC multiverse figures with the um, collect and connect Clayface here so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comments down below let me know which character is your favorite out of this set and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos and we'll see you next time